<laughs> Welcome back to the Goons Podcast. Yeah. Uh, the Hell only yeah. the only podcast in the world at all. You invented I don't, podcast. I don't know if that's true. I'm not sure if that checks <laughs> out exactly. Honestly, I don't know what I was going to say after that, so I guess that works. We're literally the only podcast. If you're listening to another podcast, it's not it's not real. It's not. Only. You can only like this podcast and subscribe yeah, to it correct. now. Also, we're all living in a simulation and nothing else is real. And download this on Spotify. Download it right now for us. This podcast is actually the only thing that is real. Nothing else is. Yeah. I. Uh, the only other things that are real are the like button and subscribe button. <laughs> yes. And the comment section. <laughs> yes. If somebody's on a severe amount of drugs listening to this, they are going to lose their mind. Also, the yeah. skip ad button isn't real. You have to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can't say that. If you, if you have ad block on, you're gonna die in purgatory. Okay, we can right. say If you that. have I asthma, you're cool and epic. Well, <laughs> yes, yes, I knew it. So, are we just gonna spend this whole hour naming <clears throat> cool and not cool things? No, I'm fine. Uh, I that think that we fun. need to. We should discuss the rebrand. Oh no. Oh, we oh. should talk about yeah. that because that was yeah. dope as hell. It was kind yeah, of just like rebrand. out of the blue. I forgot. Yeah, we just like all of a sudden had a new thumbnail last week where it was just a different mm -hmm. thing. You in a house? Oh, we paid someone and they did this <laughs> cool little thing. I'm not talking about the. <laughs> I'm talking about the logo on the on the thumbnail. Yeah, what? What? That's we're what all talking, talking about, about the same thing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. about, oh, I think you're talking about the little house picture that. Little picture yeah, no, we rebranded to a house photo, guys. <laughs> 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 The Goons yeah, no, brand really is just a picture of a house. <laughs> now the house with podcast. Mc with Mc McNasty in the window. That's our new brand now. Gross. Yeah. Um, All right. But yeah, well, uh, And it, it looks like a Bionicle mask. So, you know, if you like Bionicles. Yeah, I saw somebody commented. They were like, dope. somebody said like, oh, it's, it's Halloween week. And the Goons decided to remove the skeleton and create some weird Phoenix art. <laughs> Phoenix art. <laughs> Phoenix. Like, Sounds just, like some what? anime aids. Yeah, what is a phoenix art? I, I guess they, I guess they saw the logo and thought it was some kind of like phoenix, like a bird. I don't know how something. you got that, son. A bird? Yeah, it's literally it's, it's a skull. It's not like it. It's not like an ink blotch what? where it's like, what do you see here? It's literally a skull. <laughs> yeah, it's it's modern a, art. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty pretty straightforward and obvious. What kind of drugs are you, are you on? At? Whoever left that comment. You know what? I think we should bring back public execution for that guy or girl. Yeah, probably. There's three girls that listen to us. Um, this podcast um, will never get sponsors. We should probably, uh, I think it's a good idea to clear up that being, so we recently joined Misfits Management. Uh, yeah. I've seen that mm -hmm. on Twitter. Yes. That Just does not us. mean that we are automatically best friends with Fitz and Swagger and Toby and are going to be playing with yes, them all does. the time. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. We live with them now. We're in Australia. No, we're literally getting married. We moved <laughs> we're in to Australia. the Misfits house. I left every Missouri. creator that's with Misfits Management will all live in the yep. same house together. We all live in, it's it's not, it's not a barn. They didn't even let us live in the house. Terrible. <laughs> oh, that would be terrible. That would be awful. <laughs> There'd be like a hundred people there. If it was uh, no. like the size of like the Pentagon. Yeah, that would be the most unproductive house. True. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the it would size also be of very the loud. Pentagon. Yeah. And lots of drugs. Yeah. Glad we got that sorted. <laughs> but yeah, I was seeing people so that, comment that like that up. I was seeing people comment just like what is like what does this mean being with Misfits Management? They were like, Oh, oh that, yeah, means they gonna, the that means they're gonna they're gonna record with Fitz and Swagger now. <laughs> well, I mean we've done that no, anyway. They're a management yeah. company, so we are they're also the people um, who did the rebrand and stuff, too. So. Also, mm -hmm. I feel like I need to point something else out because a lot of people were, were getting, like, triggered by this. We did not ditch <laughs> Grizzy at any point. Oh, Grizzy yeah. was always a good friend of the Goons brand. He was never officially part of it. He just wanted to come on whenever we had, you know, whenever he had yeah. free time or whatever. It wasn't, like, a, a dedicated thing for him at any point. He was never part of the Goons, just a good friend of ours. So we did not ditch him in the brand. There was no falling out. There was no drama. Yeah. We still play with him. Well, if, if they anything, don't. we because we... because <laughs> all you guys played was Siege together. But I still play Warzone with him sometimes. We're still good friends. There's nothing, no bad blood there. Um, yeah, I just want to say that if I lived in a house with all you guys, I would doo doo and not flush on purpose. All right, well, I'm gonna continue. Yeah, off I of feel the like you do that anyway. The normal topic. Uh, yeah, Grizzly uh, is. Um, we. We we asked Grizzy if he wanted to be part of the goons, and he wasn't sure at first, and uh, just kind of eventually decided that he didn't want to like commit himself to a brand. So that's why he's not part of the podcast. 
Here we go. Yay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you guys can, can stop, stop making stupid ass comments. <laughs> comments. <laughs> All right. Okay, should we talk about an actual thing now that we've got that? Yeah, that uh, sorted? carrots. An actual talk. Carrots are a thing. I would also do do and not flush if I lived with you guys. I would tell. I feel yeah. like so I feel like both of you already do that and are now just saying it again. And what's wrong with that, Blark? It's 2020. It's kind of fucking gross. What about you? Think, like you think I chose to be this flush? way? You think? Do you ever flush or do you just like let it pile up? You think it's a choice <laughs> to flush your toilet? Absolutely. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I did not expect this from Blark. Maybe yeah, from McNasty, but not not from Blark. Unbelievable. I don't know. I believe that you were I, born with the inability to flush. I uh I, I think there's wow. some underlying things here. <laughs> I feel like I feel like this might be disguised as another I think that when you were really young your parents tried to force you to flush, but around the age like nine, ten, <laughs> you really just started like <laughs> leaving the shit in yeah, the no, toilet I, and walking away. Yeah, they tried to give me like flush conversion therapy and it really scared yeah, me. They they tried to give you like the <laughs> the like a like a doll, like a toilet doll. To like, yeah, with a little flusher, and they were like, "Yo, this is how you use it." Boom, 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 and then it, yeah, nine or ten, you were like, you like, know what? This is this really isn't me. This is not they tried to like pray the non-flush away, and it didn't work. Anyway, let's <laughs> talk <laughs> about something. Just still going, huh? Just gonna let that keep on going. I was pray just waiting. I was like, surely they're at the end now. <laughs> no, but all right, uh, soup. You uh, you posted a good topic. Uh, the last. The last one. Did really? we actually did we talk about did that I, last podcast? I did something good. <laughs> wow. In the podcast talking points. You get a that, C minus. Did on we your talk math about test. that last week? Wait, what now? I don't remember if we talked about that last week. If you what were wrongfully put I don't in, even know what you're talking if, about. If you were wrongfully put in asylum, would you convince them that you're actually sane? Like, how would you convince them you're actually sane? <sighs> that would be tough for me. Did we did we talk about it last I would week? I can't even remember. At the top of my lungs. Okay, that would not help your situation would, at all. That would dab. Furiously, just start dabbing. Dab. Okay, that would, well, that I couldn't would convince not. a lady to let me into PAX one year. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're supposed to let oh, YouTubers Oh, yeah, I remember in. that. <clears throat> and I pulled up my YouTube channel, and I, I pulled up a video that I'm in, like, talking, where you can see my whole body, and I'm, like, standing there. I'm like, this is me. And she was just like, you, you could have photoshopped that. <laughs> you could have photoshopped that. It what? is a moving video woman. It looks like the president at this party. Like, why was the security so tight? No, it, I've never had an issue getting in anything at PAX. I was like, dude, let me the fuck in, please. <laughs> so, uh, I, yes, I photoshopped myself on a fucking video. On a moving video. Yep, yep. absolutely. Yeah, it's a deep fake. I feel like, I feel like Photoshop... I feel like Photoshop has just lost its actual meaning as a program, and now any sort of thing that's like faked is now just called Photoshop. Photoshop, yeah. Photoshop oh. is definitely a verb now. Yeah. Yeah. Down. Yeah. I feel like boomers fucked that all up. Yeah. They don't know anything else, so they just say this video is Photoshopped. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that, that, that makes sense. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, old people I suck, dude. I wish they could just, like, not have old people. Whoa. I say we just nuke Florida and get the old people out of the way. Well, our Twitter group chat is called Old People Killing Cult. That is true. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. I actually <laughs> forgot about that. <laughs> well, it used to be guns and other word, but we hit, we, we changed yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I realize saying, saying, I, I realize <laughs> saying other word vaguely sounds like something extremely it racist. Could be really it is not. Bad. It's it not, was not it's racist. Not it word. was not. It's, it's that. Not the hard word. R word, just the, it was the word. R word. You can also say with we at the beginning. We. <laughs> we. What? Well, huh? Guns was, and not smart. Are you going down? Guns and mentally <laughs> no. disabled. I was saying you could say that word with <laughs> we at the beginning. Guns like, and we. slow. We. In the ending of pop tart. <laughs> what are you saying? We tart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's not we the word at all. <laughs> okay. I don't think our fans are as slow as us. I think they got it. I think we can move on. I got it. <laughs> we haven't even answered the question. What was Why the question? Do we do okay, that? the question is if you were wrongfully put into an insane asylum, how would you convince them that you're actually sane and not just pretending to be sane? Show them my YouTube channel. <laughs> actually, Mark no, thought it was a good that question. Was... I thought it was kind of dumb, but I'll put it in anyway. Well, I thought you guys might have some interesting answers. But clearly, you fucking don't. The I'm goons probably, are washed up, man. I would probably whip a Nene and Dab and show them these stank ass white boy moves. I don't know. <laughs> stank <I would> ass <laughs> white boy moves. I would just ask them what I can do to prove that I'm sane. 
And then but, prove it That's to them. exactly but, what an but, insane person yes. Yeah, exactly. No, how? how? Mm. An insane person would just, <laughs> I'm insane, I promise. <laughs> You know, not no, all insane not people are fucking so running around you, yelling like Helen Keller. Yeah. Kiss a like, cow, I kiss a cow. Uh, I'm insane. Uh, that's yeah. That's that's right, not what happens. There's like, like what about like Jeffrey Dahmer? Like he was a relatively normal. He was a mass murderer. Like, he didn't go to his fucking insane asylum. It's at his ass asylum, 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 asylum witch trials. <laughs> Dude, what would you do? Uh, back it up on that dick. Oh, I should yeah, probably. I'd, I'd probably just give a guard a little blow. You know what I'm saying? I want to keep you logged up for a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> I I can't imagine what it'd be like to drop the soap in like an insane asylum instead you'd of probably like a get prison. a finger up your butt. Oh, a hundred percent. Probably get like a rubber chicken or something weird. Yeah, you'd probably put, <laughs> just oh like God. a slide whistle up your like ass. A Duracell battery. <laughs> Honestly, cock. I'd probably t I'd take a Duracell battery up my ass before a cock. Yeah, really. Mm. You probably get like, you, like a Larry you take the shit, figurine like up double, sometimes probably <laughs> triple the width of a Duracell battery. It probably wouldn't hurt so bad. <laughs> Soup. What did you say? A Larry the you, Lobster. <laughs> I said you'd probably get a Larry the Lobster figurine up your ass. <laughs> Is that just like a common thing for people to smuggle into the asylums? <laughs> just, I would smuggle like, it. Specific? I got one on my desk right now. Do you really? Mm -hmm. I, I have a I have a handsome squi yeah, I have a handsome says. Squidward figurine. I just picture what like items, I, I what picture items do you guys keep on your desk that you like need at all times? Oh, that's a that's oh. a good one. Ooh, that is a good one. Oh. Actually, I well, have, I can run you by my whole desk setup. I have Dove Men Plus Care, fresh and clean. <laughs> God, Dude, you're, you're such a high man. You really <laughs> are, like Dude, woman. He bro. also keeps his antacid tablets on his desk too. Let me just point that out. <laughs> No, I did that. My blood pressure, man. I did that for like yeah. a week, that and then I like, uh -huh. realized I never oh, used them. Oh, yeah, so. I did it for a week. Uh -huh. I got my oatmeal package in my warm bucket. Okay, all right, right. don't, don't talk snack. about oatmeal. Yeah, yeah, I feel like, yeah, that dude's probably got Oh, and that, I'm the so old you man. Can't. You're like defending oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> dude is probably going to be in like well, the nicest about my nursing like that. home. <laughs> the nicest. You, you're going to get posted up in like the nicest nursing home in Missouri. You're going to be posh as hell. I feel like. I, I don't know if there is nice nursing homes in Missouri. They're going to wheelchair you to a dinner table full of meth and oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is a normal Missouri hospital. Like, yeah, that's, honestly. It's not unusual. Uh, time for your meth I'm, I'm genuinely curious. I'm still curious about what you guys keep on your desk. I have, oh, okay, uh, all right. Uh, I'll get, I can, give, I you, I can give you a rundown. Okay. What's weird? And lube. Why do you have it? <laughs> Okay, that's even more weird. <laughs> I got a chicken wing from two years ago. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I have a handsome Squidward uh, figurine still in the box. Um, I have a Minion's lunch box. I have a uh, min Minion plushie. And then oh, a, how much coom is on that plushie? Oh, dude, so much. And then there's... Uh, so there's this company called Bear Brick, and they make like these plastic figurines that like stupid hype beasts buy for like $400. And uh, I have a minion one on my desk of that as well. So you're calling yourself stupid? Uh, I didn't buy it. Smitty bought it. So yeah. So you're, you're calling, calling Smitty stupid? stupid. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And then I have three candles. <laughs> I have. What a gateway to end that. <laughs> I have three cans of dip, a fidget spinner, <laughs> a, a Mountain Dew hat, a spit cup. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, the most American shit. <laughs> I have is there on my a other desk. I, I have a Glock on my other desk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I have a Larry the Lobster figurine. It's got to be a flag. There has and to be a flag. Nuts. There's no flag? That is the and my clan outfit. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, your desk is not real. Like, that is so, like, generic America. Like, I feel like that's what every European just imagines is going on on every American's desk. And they're right. Like, that's the fucked up part. I know what dude has on his desk. Yeah, what? Dust. Okay, Dude, the true. Picture, <laughs> the picture that you sent of your dude setup, setup is cursed. Dude, that setup gave me, like... Anxiety, just look. You at should it. post that on Twitter. Why? What's wrong with it? Just post like, that. Just to I see. I dare like, you to post that and say rate my setup. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll do it right now. Do it. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> I I I don't even post it. It's too post hard it on the Goons like, Twitter. Post it on the Goons Twitter. Yeah. So people, yeah. There you go. We can encourage people right, to follow. All right. Well, I'll do that after the podcast because I don't remember the login for that. But yeah, everyone All go right. rate 
do set up on the Goons yeah. Twitter at, <laughs> at Goons PC. Go yeah, look at go that right. fucking it's dog shit. So bad. <laughs> what? Okay. So what is wrong with it? Like, there's just there's just no excuse because you're like the wealthiest out of all of us by a significant <laughs> margin. <laughs> and you're literally like, YouTube's <laughs> rock star, and you're in like a trailer <laughs> of a setup. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they're not even like the bathroom like, of a trailer, <laughs> dude. You, yeah. you have literally played with Dragon Force, and you're just in like a cubicle. Like, well, okay, so <laughs> so I've played with Dragon Force. So I should like be gaming in a mansion in a palace. I should set on. Yeah, a, absolutely. I should, dude. Not even that. Give yourself a fucking like five foot space at least. God damn. Yeah. Yeah, you, you literally roll back half an inch and slam into your bed. <laughs> it's like God. that is you the one thing that I don't like. Yeah. You know what's funny is I always wondered like whenever you would record guitar and then switch over to piano. I always imagine like you had to turn your camera significantly and like edit it. I don't. And then after <laughs> no, I saw that set of picture, I was like, "Yeah, you just turn your left is right there." <laughs> yeah. No. When I when I do that little like uh, panning thing, uh, that's literally just done in the editing software. I don't have to move the camera <laughs> just, at all because <laughs> just like half an inch to the left. Yeah, it's really right. easy for the camera to pick up the whole room. It's not very difficult. <laughs> it's a small ass room. I mean, it's like a normal sized room, really. It's not. It's yeah, just no, that it's, it's just like it's just that I also live in here. Like I sleep in here. That's yeah, the problem. Yeah. That's that's the that's the issue. Is like if it was just just your bedroom or just your office, it'd be fine because like there's nothing wrong with a small room. But the fact that like this is your job, you spend like 24 hours a day in that that fucking two by two foot. Dude, you're area. gonna feel liberated when you have oh, yeah know. just an extra foot of space. Yeah. Well, the plan just would be having... to take like the master bedroom of, of of the place I get and turn that into the office, and I'll sleep in like a smaller room. <clears throat> That'd actually be be kind of sick yeah i never yeah, even thought nice. of that actually i don't like that in there shoot me in the head i don't like too much open space in an office because it's hard about an office it's hard to Sound, fill up space i guess well not only well, that but it's just like with a master bedroom you have a you know you can put a big ass bed that takes up a good chunk of the room what you i want like yeah, you could also turn an wall. office into like a music room that'd that's be sick the, like if you put yeah. your drums oh, on yeah, piano yeah, and shit. that'd be cool yeah you see because i want to be able to have all my guitars on a rack like right next to me for like when i'm recording because right now they're all in like yeah. cases like strung about my room so if somebody's like oh let me hear something on really? the, the hello kitty i have to like go like get it out of a case i want to be able to have them like uh just like all next to why me why don't you just buy like one of those like nine guitar racks that's what i have it won't fit in here just keep... why don't you put uh <laughs> buy the, buy put the, it on your bed buy the guitar racks the, you can nail it... into the wall and like hang on the wall no I... put it on the, the the side of the bed you don't sleep on oh that's kind of full over there <laughs> What? What do you keep on your bed? I'll show you, you guys. Just, Are you like, one of those I'll people that just keep laundry on your bed? I'm gonna fucking punch you in the head. You dude, I've had like, laundry on my bed for like four days, and I've just been you're like, the worst. I know, person I know, dude. I know it's terrible. I know. I need to clean it up. But like, those of you listening to this podcast, and if you have anything on your bed other than pillows and blankets and like maybe a stuffed animal, if you're a little bitch, you you deserve to <laughs> wow. name it in front of a car. I'm gonna go move my stuffed animal. <laughs> I just imagine, dude, like, you just, like, when you go to bed, you just stand up on your chair and jump into bed. Like, there's no, like, walking area. <laughs> I just dive bombs into I it. I very <laughs> easily could do that, yeah. And you only weigh, like, 14 pounds, too, so you just, like, float down on the bed gently. You think he, like a butterfly. he just, like, falls like a piece of paper. He's, like, yeah. not even straight mm -hmm. down. It's, like, back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Gravity ain't got nothing on this 14-pound temple of a body of mine. Well, now that we've roasted, Temple. now that we've roasted your setup for a good twenty minutes, uh, what do you actually like keep on your desk? Oh, my desk is probably the most normal. I have like a water bottle graveyard on my desk. That's one of the biggest problems with mine. I have so many empty water bottles. I have a a, a pocket knife thing. I've got a an expired Amazon gift card. Uh, Read the code out. It's, it's expired. expired. <laughs> Prove it. Uh, I have a book on oceanography holding up this giant monitor, and I have a brick <laughs> sitting on the giant monitor so that it doesn't fall forward and crush me. Um, oh my god! <laughs> you have a brick on your monitor? Wait, what? You're the richest ghetto person I've ever known in my life. Listen, listen, listen. It's you know how much a monitor mount costs? Trash. No, like, no, no, I don't, I don't want to mount it because, listen, there's like a bunch of lighting behind it, so I don't want to take the lighting down. No, you can buy mounts that are literally just like mini lick, tables that your thing sits on. Lick my little boy Not like sack. the one that you have to no, screw in the back of shit. No, he uses an oceanography book in, and a in brick. In defense, if it ain't broke, don't fix 
weeks. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, there's uh, a bunch of textbooks from high school that I never read, propping up that that uh, that top monitor because you know I got like the triangle formation, and then that monitor up there. It's that it's that one that we got from. Can I say that the one that drops yeah, in us? Drop. Yeah. That 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 ultra wide one. So it's heavy and it's like top heavy, so it wants to fall forward all the time. So I have got some bricks out on my backyard and I brought them in and I just. <laughs> I, why do you? I put them on why the do you feet. Just have bricks too. <laughs> uh, Missouri. So Missouri's a weird place, bro. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a brick just laying somewhere. Well, a lot of people that build houses over here, if they have leftover stuff, yeah, they just leave it in your yard. Yeah, there's. I mean, you you paid for it, so it's just like extra shit, and people will take it and use it for like crafts or whatever. Yeah, or <laughs> keeping their monitor or, from or, falling or holding right. up monitors. Or holding up monitors <laughs> preventing death. Yeah, is essentially expensive right. pieces of electronic equipment. You know, I would the honestly, usual shit I would be too. scared in. Putting all my faith into a brick. It's two bricks. my monitor from. No, it's two. Well, you put Still. faith into bricks to hold your house up. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah that worked well, pretty no, good. there's wood under there. Man, yeah, that you, is just... you could add some wood to your monitor. Just it, it's weird to me that more. like, like ever since even bef even before I did YouTube, I've always like taken pride in like my gear setup. Well, you're you know? you're picky uh, as fuck. Yeah, with gear. but you're high maintenance. Very. Like yeah, said. you're also you're an audio a little file. diva. <laughs> a little diva. <laughs> McNasty's a little diva. Yeah. Dude, I literally <laughs> kept one of my VR sensors on like a stacked up of like four or five cardboard boxes one time when I was doing VR in my room. I mean shit, it, it works yeah. like temporarily. I just, you know, I I, I would just, I would upgrade from what do has a little bit, but I don't need a McNasty setup either. Nah. Like I'm pretty content with what I have. Just a fucking desk with some monitors sitting on it and some I mean shit. yeah I do too I have like to <laughs> yeah. my left I mean to my left I have a printer because yeah. it's a free printer when I moved in here <laughs> and then I have my three monitors in the middle and to the right I have my PC I feel like you <laughs> would spend a lot of money on a hat that would hold drinks for you or let a straw yeah. come into your mouth like, Honestly, dude, dude, it's a that good sounds like something in the you channel. would do yeah, no, that's but soup would use like a three dollar one, or he'd make one himself. Oh like yeah, I'd get one from like the dollar store, or I'd duct tape <laughs> and it'd have like a Cans crab like on it or something. A baseball hat. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. point is, I don't use old high school books to prop things up. That's my point. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad we got if to. If I the, need to mount to a monitor, I'm gonna buy a fifteen dollar monitor. You don't know anything about mounting anything. <laughs> okay, dude, that seems there. a little ironic. He's yeah. Ah. <laughs> Dude, for the longest time, I recorded, like, my video stuff with my cell phone on a selfie stick. That's what Grizzy did. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, Grizzy used to record. Yeah, that's like... He used to he used to not even record his screen. He would have himself being recorded through his iPhone of him playing a game. So it would just be, uh. like, this blurry, blurry two-resolution game in the background and just, like, a... <laughs> Just a Grizzy playing. Do you guys remember flip cameras? <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I used to keep a flip camera on a tripod and record my TV. Really? Really. Yeah. <laughs> that is, uh, that's, that's sad. See, yeah. Hey, it worked. See, He's what, been around since like 2008. Whatever you gotta though. do to start, you just gotta start, kids. I had a video on an old channel where I recorded my TV with a flip camera and it got like 100,000 views, so. Wasn't it like Mario or something? <laughs> it was, yeah. I think, I think I talked about it before. Yeah. I think the most ghetto shit I ever did is so when I first installed Fraps, um, that's what I Fraps. used at first, like everyone. Mm -hmm. um, when I first installed Fraps, when you hit record and like when it shows that it's being recorded, it'll be like in Your the top right of your screen. Gets full. <laughs> well, that <laughs> For five minutes. and that in on the top right of your monitor, it would show like a red circle, and I didn't want it, that to show up in my recording because I wanted my screen to look clean. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't actually show up in your recording. It just it's an overlay, but I didn't know that so I was like fuck how am I gonna tell if I like have it recording or not So I just put a sharpie over my ear And like like a construction worker keeps like the pencils above their ear I did that when I was recording or not recording and I, I got completely <laughs> lost on it And I ended up recording everything I didn't want to record and didn't record any of the stuff I wanted to record so, I, I used to record, I used to record with fraps <clears throat> and it would fill up your hard drive so fast that I would go and like get like a funny clip, put it in Vegas and render it so it would make it smaller Ugh. and then like delete the raw recording. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I remember one time 
I, I fucking rendered a whole recording out and I was like, why is this taking so long? Everyone says rendering takes like 10 minutes. And it was like a two and a half hour recording with fraps just being rendered in Vegas. It was like oh going to take like two days. That and would crash like, our computers now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, honestly. No, it, it, but it didn't crash anything. It just was going to take a very, very long time. God, OBS has us so spoiled now. We literally just press a I button. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you have to do. Yep. Press F9. So nice. I still don't use OBS. I refuse to what do you uh, use? conform. Shadow. I use Shadow Play. Oh, right. You're living in 2010. Mm -hmm. cool. I, dude, honestly, I, I like Shadow Play. All right. I just have Stupid. a soft spot for it. I'd fuck it. Stupid. <laughs> you would fuck a program. Mm hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Glad we got Come that. Sort on a hard drive or something. I, don't I think know. the only ghetto thing. I think the only ghetto thing I ever did, as far as like my setup and stuff, is uh, when I f when I got my first PC, it was set up on my dad's kitchen table. You did that not that long ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah was that, that was like last year. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. had to when I when I moved back to where I live now. I had to because I didn't have a. Yeah, we would be recording, and like McNasty's dad would come in, and he'd be like, "Ho ho!" <laughs> yeah, my my this favorite my dad Santa. <laughs> 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 ho ho, ho <laughs> son! Where's the ham sandwich? Eric, get a beer. I think my I think my beer. favorite thing ever is <laughs> when we made him say. <laughs> We made him say Greg Paul on the mic, and it literally sounded like It was identical. the same person. Oh, yeah, yeah dad McNasty's came dad in and just sounds Greg exactly like Paul. McNasty's him. dad could be in, like, half of the videos, and we would know. No, I should we just have, have no my idea. dad do, like, sponsorship no for me. Know. Yeah, we I was gonna say, so just have your dad do ad reads for you. Uh, just give him, like, a grand. Like a grand just, here. there you go, dad. <laughs> Diva as hell. <laughs> I don't want to do this ad read. Unbelievable. God. Unbelievable. Don't want to you take the two actually, minutes like, out of your day. A computer and let him play with us sometimes. Yeah, and we'll see so if we can fun. tell a difference. Like, give he him the same is mic the and most everything. technologically just retarded person I've ever. Whoa! Known. <laughs> yeah, I like how we danced around that word a lot at the beginning of the podcast, and you just let it rip there. Fuck well, it. there's no way. There's no Our way the main reviewers are watching thirty minutes of this shit, yeah, so yeah. we're good. We could probably like. At like the forty-five minute mark of a podcast, just hard R, boom, throw it in. No, no, we are not doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely, uh, absolutely not doing sponsors that. Sponsors would be cool at some point, so I'm gonna yeah, request true, true, that you true, not true, yeah. do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, like I said, my dad is uh, very just technologically just like doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Like he types Does like he like he types like four words, well four words per minute. With his index fingers. Oh, that's so good. He's like, just, he like, has his two index fingers pointing is. out like a T Rex and just <laughs> yeah. one letter at a time. That's what I was going to ask. Does he type like a fucking <laughs> idiot and just like hammer the keys? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just oh, even my dad keyboard. doesn't do that. He doesn't. texts like that too. Like, he'll hold his whole phone with his left hand and type with his one finger on his right hand. Oh, oh dude. I almost Never beat the shit thumbs. out of my grandma one time. Huh? <laughs> okay. What? That is okay. out of the field. What? <laughs> you type <Okay>. slow. Die. <laughs> <laughs> That's but it, we did say home. earlier we hate old people. So. True, yeah. actually, um, go off, King. Go this ahead. is the kill old, but, uh, old people podcast. So we fucking I again. didn't want to do this. This was my this was my I don't remember what fucking grad it was. I guess it would have been high school. And obviously, nobody wants to fucking take pictures with their family because this is fucking annoying. But my grandma was like, oh, I'll take a picture of you with your mom and dad. And every time she'd go to press the camera button on the iPhone, she'd press it like it's an actual fucking button. So she'd like jam her finger into it and it would fucking blur the whole photo because <laughs> she would put so much pressure on it. It would turn the phone. And what bro, we probably sat there. We probably sat there for 30 minutes trying to get her to not take a blurry picture. I was ready to rock my grandma on the what head. What a dumb old Dude, cunt. I took my grandma's <laughs> iPhone when she okay. first got it. And I took, took a picture. A dick I took a picture of myself, like <laughs> holding it at like my stomach and like up my face. <laughs> so it just looked like some cursed photo of me. And I put it as her wallpaper. <laughs> and she left it for the longest time. And I was like, "Why?" And I seen it like a week later. I was like, "Why have you not changed this?" And she was just like, "It's a good picture of you. I like it." Aww. <laughs> it's just the most, it was the so most cursed. They support <laughs> anything you do, man. Photo. It was like a Double chin photo. So yeah, just you know? like a double chin, just, just awful. Just a picture could, of you could, smiling, stabbing a dude in the street. It's like, ah, oh, I just, it's so cute. Like, you. Don't you're cool. Cool. I like That's, it out. You're so handsome. How I could show up to my grandparents' house tomorrow with like horse shit rubbed all over my face and body. <laughs> She'd be like, oh, don't worry about that. Like, you, you're just my cute Have little you boy. Have today? Yeah. yeah. She's worried about my, my food. <laughs> 
Just not even like worried about the shit. Just, hey, are you hungry or what's going on? You just show up missing a leg. You haven't yeah. been eating sugar. What's a sugar? Uh, <laughs> I think uh, I think my grandma's lifestyle is like what I want to be when I'm older. Though she literally does nothing but smoke like six packs of cigarettes a day, just oh, drinks full case of beer, just gets fucking hammered and paints. Just that's mm. it. That's the full day. Wake up four a.m. Get cool drunk by six a.m. Cool and not the cigarettes. Oh my <laughs> god, getting drunk at six a.m. sounds terrible. <laughs> when your grandma, it's fine. Who cares? You can do whatever the <laughs> hell you want once you're past ninety five. Yeah, yeah. It don't matter. Yeah, exactly. No more. Well, I, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. Yeah. I saw you're just, this. You're above this the law. Video. I saw this video of like the oldest man in this county or whatever, and I think he was like a hundred. He was over a hundred, and he was just like, "Yeah, I drink me a fifth of whiskey every day and smoke like two cigars." <laughs> <laughs> just like boys, the boys Grim Reaper, please take me. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I just jump off the bridge for fun, see what happens. It's so it's bizarre that people core. can people can smoke tons and tons of cigarettes for like a hundred years and live. Yeah, not yeah. And not there's people who smoke like four packs and then die. And then die. Yeah. <laughs> okay, like, I don't know about there's that. There's that might be a bit like, extreme. There's people who like vape a couple times and they did they just can't breathe anymore and they die. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, crazy. Is that, is that true? Some people, yeah, vape does kill people, but uh, don't what? vape, kids. Really? Yeah, people have been dying from vaping recently. No. Without, I had no idea. I used, I used to, I used to vape because it tastes like. What do you mean? Beer. Do your research. <laughs> do your research, liberal. All yeah, right, you liberal. Facts don't care about my chaser. feelings. I forgot about that. You liberal gay man. <laughs> okay. Do whatever you want to do. Smoke, drink, do it all. Puke, fart if you want to. Titty fuck. Um, Throw a dog. Don't let the Lord tell you you can't fuck titties. I don't think God ever Maybe said that you can't Maybe let do the Lord. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's the one. That's not one of the Ten Commandments. Uh, and on the third day, titties and you're God. And you're, third not day, you're, said, <laughs> don't titties fuck big titties. <laughs> that's what it just says in the Bible. <laughs> Thou shalt not did fuck they, man titties. <laughs> did they have fat enough men back then to like have I don't man think titties? So. I don't, I don't think there was, was enough like food to be fat. Yeah. And when did when did like fat guys get invented? Like when that patch come out? Probably like seventeen seventy six. All right, well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> America was founded. I don't know. I think Italy, <laughs> Italy was probably like the first fat people because they're just like oh yeah, like the monsters just bread. down, yeah, just yeah. down in fucking three million carbs a day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you had to think too. They lived to be like twenty five back then, so they probably just didn't get a chance. Yeah, you know? everybody's metabolism is good until around twenty five, I guess, too. So they probably just didn't even have a chance to get fat. Yeah, I don't understand Honestly, people better who are like days. if you if you ask them like. Oh yeah, if I had a time machine, I'd go back to fucking the 1500s, where people yeah, died die. when they were 30. <laughs> right. Yeah, when you, when you're not married by the age of 11, so you get a rock thrown at your head every day, like <laughs> when you're walking down the street and just get stabbed for no reason, and people just walk by your corpse. Yep. Horse no over your just body. fucking kills you. <laughs> Imagine if you went back in time. And brought COVID to like the 1500s. I don't think the human race. I was gonna race say, would, I was gonna say like an like an iPhone. Oh. Well, they. I mean, they had worse things. They had the fucking bubonic plague, They're infinitely fucking worse than COVID. Yeah, there's always. Yeah, but been that was Europe. Season. What? That was bring sure COVID to Native Americans. That's what I'm saying. Whoa, whoa, Ew. whoa, whoa! whoa. Then, All right. Well, what? Um, Didn't the Spanish flu? Where'd that come from? Yeah, that Probably was. Spain. Uh, well, I, I, would, I would guess Spanish. <laughs> the Spanish <yeah>. virus. <laughs> the Spain virus. We're gonna we're gonna get them back for what they did. Anywho, all right. Anyways, yeah, well, fuck a next, plague, uh, dude. You get you get fucking cut back then. You just you bleed out. <laughs> yeah, platelets in the blood that. weren't invented I yet. About, I don't know about that. <laughs> if they, well, I yeah, mean, you like, just if get, you a get a paper cut, God didn't, bleed out for nine well, days. Get a, God didn't well, buff humans get yet. Well, and you die. Any cut, dude. <laughs> I don't know about any okay. cut. Oh, no, dude, you're talking about the 1500s, bro. Well, people threw stop, their shit stop. in the street. <laughs> <laughs> people still do that yeah. in India. Okay. All right, uh, you are reaching today. Did you guys that ever is... watch An Idiot Abroad? No. Oh, Pretty dude, nasty. that's such a good show. Ricky Gervais gets one of his friends, and he just sends him to all these places like throughout the world. Oh, it's so good. He went to India, and there was this guy who was walking down the street holding... A toilet seat with like legs on it, <laughs> and he was just walking down the street carrying that. And he was like, "It's sad that he has to carry that, knowing at some point in the day he's gonna have to take a shit." So he just carries that everywhere he goes. <laughs> is there no just a toilet like, seat? <laughs> is there no just like bathroom? Like I don't, I don't, I don't get know. It. I, I guess at certain places they probably don't have them. 
You just shit you in your know. hand and throw it? I don't know. Like, well, I've seen, I've seen videos of dudes in, like, China in, like, a subway where the dude just pulls his pants down and shits, and there's, oh, like, yeah. just people walking by him. And they just it's just a I normal saw, thing. They're just like, whatever. Mm -hmm. I saw a video of, uh, it was on Reddit the other day. It was, it was in America. Like, this dude was just walking wearing big-ass cargo shorts, just shitting while he was walking. And, like, bro, he was walking perfectly normal, <laughs> but you just see, like, dribbles of turd just like every uh, few steps uh, fall out of his shorts well, I some mean, dude, I guess you might some as well dude, just take it like a champ yeah well <laughs> nobody noticed and then some dude came up the escalator that was behind him stepped in the shit and slid and it just fucking <laughs> fell like it was like a cartoon banana slide but it was this guy's fucking dookie just oh trailing out of his pants <laughs> Uh, it's fucking cursed. And that's in America, so I guess people are shit wherever they want. Why do we wherever? always resort to shit? We always end podcast. up here. We said that last time. <laughs> I think we ended talking about shit. Just always shit. Well, let's make sure it's a universally like fun topic. It is. Yeah. It's like we're hammered every podcast and just forget what we talked about the week before. Like mm -hmm. that's. Oh, what you know what we is. should talk about? Shit, boys. <laughs> what animal would you want? Would you be if you could be an animal? <laughs> okay, no, no. <laughs> Wait, no. I don't think everyone answered that. Squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel! Walrus. I don't remember what my answer was. Yeah, me either. Uh, what about if you... Uh, I, I had a topic of... Wh wh what animal would you wipe off the planet? I thought Mosquitoes. you were going to say wipe your ass with when you first started <laughs> yeah, saying that. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> a I rabbit? Cat. Of course. I already had cat prepped. Still squirrel. Really, a rabbit? Still squirrel. Why? I feel like, I feel like the rabbit would be, like, kicking and shit. I think yeah, any yeah, animal is cool. going you to be fighting for its what life. Dead if what dead animal would you wipe your ass with? Oh. 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 A bird? <laughs> bird, it's got a beak. Yeah, exactly. I don't. I feel like feathers won't off. get your a shit whale. out. A whale. <laughs> Just scooting your ass across a whale. <laughs> like a dead, bloated whale on the beach. A, an octopus. A swordfish's nose. Oh, a blowfish. God. A porcupine. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. Sea urchin. <laughs> a donkey. I think we're just naming yeah, we're just animals. Naming, we know now. Just naming animals that I'm we wipe know. Wipe my ass with Bowser. <laughs> Alligator um, back. No, what would you? What animal would you just completely wipe off the planet if you could? Mosquitoes. mosquitoes. Okay. Well, let's say other than mosquitoes oh, because I feel like that's such a generic answer. Spiders. Isn't that like a? I mean, oh, like an animal. Like like how about like a bug. not bugs? How about not bugs? Are, are bugs and insects considered animals? Yeah. yeah. I don't care. I want them gone. They're considered. Bugs I'm thinking like insects. an animal because for me it would be genocide against mosquitoes. Let's do it. Petition. Well, for me, it would they did be do flies. that in. Uh, Pretty sure that's just bats. Well, it, in general, no, they did. They did uh, a genocide of mosquitoes in in the Bay of Mosquitoes, actually, when they were building the uh, Panama Canal. So that that has happened before. People were like all getting yellow fever and dying, so they just literally like nuked mosquitoes off the that part of the earth. Wait, do y'all have do y'all have mosquito mm. trucks where you live? No. What is that? Yes. Uh, so basically, some dude. <laughs> it's actually kind of crappy. Some dude drives down the neighborhood all through every street, and they spray chemicals in the air to kill mosquitoes in the summertime and it's like insanely toxic to humans so when they when you hear oh, them no. coming the, the, it's got like this like <laughs> does it sound like the ice cream truck yeah. it sounds like that it's just, it so, sounds like the ice cream truck so, yeah, everybody runs out and dies no no <laughs> no so what you're supposed to do literally you're supposed to go and you're supposed to turn your air off so you don't suck it in your house and like breathe horrible chemicals that's really? how bad the what mosquitoes the are here you guys don't so, have that where I live, no. I live. They they tried this thing where they they it was a mosquito truck. But what they did is they released mosquitoes into an area. Huh? Why? And as as fucked as that sound, as fucked as that as fucked as that sounds, as fucked sound, as fucked as sound, sound as fucked as that, bound, bound. as fucked as that sounds. It so basically mosquitoes that bite you and suck your blood are always female. Yeah, they, yes. they take they take your blood and then take it back. That makes to like a, a lot of sense. So what they did is they released, they released, <laughs> they released male mosquitoes that were, that had, I think horny. they put something into their blood. Yeah, were they just busy fucking? Like they had no, 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 no. So they, they, I think the mosquitoes had something in them that would kill the female mosquito. Sperm. So when they go and fuck the female mosquito, it would kill toxic them masculinity and kill the eggs. <laughs> They mansplained the female mosquitoes. <laughs> this is how you should actually bite. They manspread on the mosquito subway. <laughs> Isn't that just like a moving pond or river? <laughs> All the male mosquitoes just manspread over the state, and the female mosquitoes couldn't they fit They couldn't in. fit, so they had to leave. Dude, that's genius! 
Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know if genius is a word I'd use for that. Genes. So yeah, yeah the, the male mosquitoes had parasite. something in them that would kill the female mosquitoes. When well, they, they probably just gave them like a parasite or something like that. Yeah, something, I don't know. It would, it would kill the babies too. Huh. Interesting. It's kind of fucked up from like, imagine being the mosquito in that perspective. You just get dick down and then die. Sounds pretty good actually. That sound too yeah. bad. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that what happens to like Male bumblebees, don't they fucking die or something? Yeah, their cut little fucking bee dick falls off or something. I don't know. Yeah, oh no, that's if they sting you. Don't they explode? They sink their no, shaft into you and then they die. No, they don't stab you with their fucking cock. They're I don't think male bees sting. Don't, don't ruin this for me. I think the male no, bees just they, get they all sting. Honey is just uh, bee vomit. It's bee jizz. Bee vomit. Bee jizz. Somebody call Bill Nye and ask him if it's bee jizz or bee vomit. All right, hold on. I don't. Bees collect nectar oh, from no. flowers and they store it in their honey stomachs. <laughs> honey stomach, huh? It's like a Is little a... kid reading off. <laughs> <laughs> they take the, the like thing a... from the flower and put it in the honey stomachs. And then honey that, is that... essentially bee vomit. Yeah, it is. It's bee jizz. Yeah, they no, feed I, it to yeah. their larva. They spread it, it all over bee jizz. Bit. They keep it in their stomachs and regurgitate it. They keep it in Do their balls. Do you guys ever actually eat honey? I, don't, I can't remember the last time I've had, like, actual honey. I, nah. every time I make, like, little chicken bites, I always, like, do, uh, uh make, like, honey and barbecue sauce with them. I'll put it in a smoothie salt. occasionally. Do you ever mix honey oh, with peanut butter? Oh, that's actually a good idea. No, what the fuck? Peanut butter is already sweet as hell. I used to. Really? Uh, yeah. Like, honey I've with never peanut done butter? That. that was on my, uh, like, whenever I played baseball, like, one of the things I had to eat. Oh, like I guess if you just schedule? needed, like, yeah, I guess if you just needed, like, a bunch of protein and, like, calories. It was like, I had to drink, like, a fucking gallon of water a day, and my lunch would be uh, peanut butter and honey sandwich. For some <laughs> reason, I don't know why I couldn't use jelly. Those, sound, Those are so good to bad. me. Because mm. it, like, but, when, you, uh, when you mix the honey with the peanut butter, it's, like, it makes it, like, thinner. Like, the one thing I don't like about peanut butter is how, like, thick it is. Like, it's just, like... I feel like whenever I eat, eat peanut butter, I have to drink, like, milk or something with it. Well, yeah, you don't want to... It's like eating a biscuit without water. Yeah. I'm not really a huge fan of peanut butter. Do you, guys, uh, do you guys have any foods that just make you, like, gag watching other people eat? For me, this fucking kid that I used to hang Ooh. out with, he used to... Uh, okay. <laughs> he used to put peanut butter in a bowl and then put a tiny bit of milk in and just fucking... Eat it with a spoon. It made me gag like every time. Peanut butter cereal. Kind of weird. I thought it was so disgusting. fucking disgusting, dude. Yeah, I was I've, like, I've oh. watched my grandpa like, and my dad eat an entire spoonful of just straight mayonnaise. Oh, what the fuck? Like I, you might be I lighter like than mayo, me, but I could not. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not the one doing it. You, you that your is family. family. Fucking nasty. Yeah, that's dude. nasty. Uh, just I've seen my dad <laughs> a, take a cold hot dog and just dip it in a tube of mayonnaise and just eat it. Dude, what your the dad hell? should be arrested. We should that kill should your be dad. Illegal. <laughs> Gle- he's, mayonnaise glizzy. He's a weird eater. <laughs> you, you have the audacity to ever make fun of anything I've ever made or eaten when your dad yeah, over you there taking cold glizzies. Your dad. <laughs> yeah, your yeah. dad over there dipping cold glizzies in mayo. <laughs> I don't ever want to hear you say, oh, he's eating peanut butter. He eats like a poor person. Screw but you. But it's not me. Well, my dad is a poor person. <laughs> it's not like my dad makes... A, okay, a, but you know what? A poor sponsors. person, a poor person can go and fucking put their goddamn hot dog on a pan, on a stove, or a barbecue, or even a fucking microwave before eating it with mayo. <laughs> well, he just eats it like a snack. This is like boom. That's not a snack. Glizzy for a snack. Cold hot dogs Man, are not glizzy. a snack. God. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a granola bar is a snack. <laughs> Cold yeah, glizzy is not. Oh. Are those also dipped in mayo? <laughs> Nasty, what what would you like eat for dinner as a kid? Yeah. Uh, God, this is going to be you, you, uh, you're, in the backyard. You're 100% one of those people who's like, your mom's like, we have food at home and it's like ketchup on white bread. Oh, no, no, no. My mom, <laughs> raw, dude, when I was younger, steak, syrup <laughs> sandwich. my mom has always been a cooker. So when I was younger, I always had like good food to eat. Mm. Like we'd either be making like Mexican food or, or like she'd grill something. We'd eat, like tri-tip or steak or something or or like chicken, grilled chicken. Oh, well, that's mm. not that's not too bad. Yeah. I just imagine your parents just like put you in the backyard, attached to a pole, and just let you graze like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> just like that was McNasty's dinner. I was fully expecting like fried bologna and Slim Jim sandwich yeah. or something. <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, 
I mean, like, up till just recently, you existed off of beef sticks and nothing else. Yeah, just like a beef stick sous vide and Mountain Dew or something okay, weird. That was, like, <laughs> <laughs> that was over the span Mountain of, like, Dew seasoned chicken. six months. I did not... I ate those beef sticks, and I, I ate so many of them, I got so fucking tired of them, and I have not touched them since. Yeah, no shit. That's all you would eat. We'd be sitting in Discord, and I'd just hear you munching away on a stick of beef. Like, that's weird that you kept yeah, beef on your desk. <laughs> That's, that's well, it's because so I was on keto, and like, a, there's not like any snacks you can eat on keto. That's why just keto have, have bigger meals, huh? It's, you just eat bigger meals. Yeah, but some like people like you want to snack. Got a beef stick. What did you yeah. what, soup? And you were on the carnivore diet. What were you? What were you snacking on? What was your snack of choice? Uh, beef jerky, and I had like, Donkey I had egg. Slim Jims, not but they weren't like regular Slim Jims. They were like the uh, zero sugar. Oh, I don't. And like I didn't those. really. I didn't like them that much. the The zero sugar beef jerky was way better. Like the pepper uh, beef jerky. I've I've that had those good. zero sugar like the Slim Jims, and they're um they're like the casing is like hard on them, and they're like dry. Yeah, I don't I don't like those. I've well, never like had a beef stick ever in my life. <clears throat> they are, dude, they are not that wasn't chicken or like there's, a leafy green. Dude, there's so but, much but, cholesterol <laughs> in beef sticks that you might as well go eat a Big Mac. I, be, like, a beef stick, fucked. or like a Slim Jim is something you eat if you're like at a baseball game or you're the only thing you have is a gas station to get food from. <laughs> yeah, literally. It's like the only time you'd want to eat that, Mc, really. McNasty, before a couple of years ago, I ate like dog shit. My diet was horrible. Yes, I've eaten a <laughs> That's whole... That's not a good thing to be eating. <laughs> all kinds... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, it had protein, so I was cool with it. Choice of words, my friend. Choice of words. Uh, that, took, that took me a minute. I was like, what does he mean that's not a good thing? Like, ah, I used to just eat dog shit all the time. Yeah. I just ate fucking terrible. feces every day. I don't day. even have a dog. I had to get it from my neighbor. <laughs> just, your neighbor just wakes up in the morning, comes out with a cup of coffee. You're just like I'm just kicking doctors just... off their lawn. <laughs> Martin. You're putting it on like a just plate. Like, yeah, dude's just in a bathrobe, newspaper rolled up under his arm, just I show up at his dog shit. I show up at his front door with a pitcher. Uh, do you have a cup of dog shit I could have today, sure? <laughs> a cup Any of dog, dog shit laying around? I think the, the fucking stupidest thing that involved dog shit that I did, like, when we were a kid, uh, one of my friends moved into a new house, and the previous owners had a huge fucking dog that just shit everywhere in the yard, and they didn't clean it before oh. they moved. So we just went in the backyard, and their parents were like, can you just clean it up and, like, put it either in the garden so it, like, acts as fertilizer or throw it in a bag? And we just said, nah, that's way too much work. So we just flung it over the neighbor's fence onto their trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> like Bruh. when you're a kid you just like don't think that that's that big of a deal and then the next day the neighbors came over to his house and were just like fuming pissed off just like losing their shit on them already after a day so we just threw dog shit in their kids trampoline i would never so want to live in bad. a neighborhood neighborhoods it has such a good connotation to it like oh yeah then a nice neighborhood dude fuck neighborhoods <laughs> i mean i feel super lucky because I hear so many people have, like, nightmare neighbors. My neighbors yep. have always been fucking fantastic. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, my car is pretty loud, which normally, you know, you'd have a neighbor that's, like, fucking gets pissed off every time you start it up or do anything. Like, the neighbor next to me has, like, a super loud fucking Dodge Viper. The older dude in front of me has, like, an old-ass, like, uh, Mustang. So, like, everyone has loud shit, and, like, they all come out. I don't know. They'll like invite us to parties and stuff. They'll bring food over randomly. Like they're just fucking sick. Then yeah, my, that, that's actually nice. My, yeah, my old neighbor that died. I was, I was super sad when he passed away. But he was like this really old black dude, and he had the sickest basement ever. He was into collecting trains, like train models, and his whole basement was just like train tracks, and they would just like zoom around. It was so fucking sick. My uh, my next door neighbor has a literal monster truck, like what you'd see on television. <laughs> I'm not God. surprised. And it is taller than his garage, so he has to leave it out in his driveway all the time. Oh, my and, God. And uh, this bitch, when he drives this thing up the street, everything in my room shakes. It is so loud, it's unreal. So, like... All right. My, my neighbors aren't that bad with their shit. It's the only... your monitor doesn't fall when he drives by. Well, why do you think I have bricks here? <laughs> It all comes full circle. <laughs> Gotta fortify your fucking room. With the <laughs> you monster really truck do. going down the street. <laughs> you really do. And this dude dry. I'm I'm glad I don't need to like. I'm not trying to like sleep at uh, at like 6 a.m. That's usually when I lay down to go to bed. Cause this dude drives That's that thing fucked. up the street at 6 a.m. every day without fail. I don't know where he goes with it. I don't know what he does. If he's like running he's going over. Going to Hardee's. <laughs> <laughs> going to give him a chicken biscuit. Yeah. <laughs> 
But yeah. Get a man's breakfast. Other than that, <laughs> neighborhood's fine. I'm going to a full ribeye steak at 7 a.m. <laughs> I don't know how people eat steak and eggs. Do you guys ever eat that? No. Not that combo. I, that. I don't like the feeling I of that eating when I was steak doing in the carnivore. Morning. But yeah, it's not great. Like that carnivore diet that I was doing, dude, I got so sick of steak. Yeah. It yeah. turned it was it's like one of my favorite meals and then it just turned into like my least a chore favorite. to yeah. eat it. Yeah. yeah. And I got so sick of cooking, dude. Fuck cooking. Yeah, when you're on, when you're on a diet that requires you to eat like pretty much the same thing almost like every meal. It makes you Well, yes. yeah, you're just you're going to get burnt yeah. out very easily. When I was a kid, I used to love love salami. That was like the that was like a like the just thing to have like that was really Oof. rare and when you had it, it was really good. And then when I went on keto, like all I would fucking eat is salami. And then now I just like whenever I think about salami, it kind of makes me gag. Yeah. Like, well, know. salami isn't like a good meat for you. No. Pretty sure. It's, yeah, it's, 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 like, it's like salt, a hell of a process. Salt, super fat. greasy. <laughs> yeah, it's like mystery meat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When I first did keto, I was doing it like really badly. I was just like, I mean, I didn't care how much sodium I was getting in my body. I was just like, as long as there's no carbs in it, I can eat it. Keto in general yeah, is not I, really a good idea. Uh, yeah. I feel like for me, just like. Any diet that makes you eat a certain thing was just not for me. I was just yeah. like, eat whatever I want, but just count calories That's and make it. sure you're not doing anything. Keto anything is insane. good if you do it the right way. Because the thing about uh, keto is, like, a lot but of it's people... it's so temporary. A Nobody lot of people wants to see, go their whole life without eating a piece of bread again. Right. That's well, the that's the problem is when as soon as you come off yeah, keto, you're going to want to binge those carbs that you've been missing. You're just going to put your weight back on. That's the problem with nah. keto. That's, that's, Vegan that's called, straight edge. That's called having willpower. If you have the willpower to just... Well, if you have to do keto, you probably don't have willpower. Otherwise, you just eat less of normal food. That's exactly what I was going to say. So the, <laughs> basically what the benefit of keto is, is when you're on keto, like a lot of people see keto as like, oh, you're just like, all you're doing is eating meat and you're getting a lot of sodium and cholesterol. Well, the thing is when you're on keto and you're not getting like complex carbs, your liver does not have to work nearly as hard. So it's it's your liver can, it can work more towards processing those like salts and stuff. That's that's really the benefit of keto. But you also like a go lot insane, of the time, so. if you have like fatty liver yeah. <laughs> or like liver issues, that like it's better for you to not eat like carbs like at all or like complex carbs like like bread and you know cookies and shit. Like eating but carbs bread are, like, and vegetables. cookies are the best things, bro. Yeah. Well, like, yeah. What I'm saying it's like th those are what's worse on your livers. Like complex carbs are not good on your liver, especially in like high call high. High quantities. <laughs> what was that? How did we? How were we talking about this when you we were talking about eating shit like five minutes ago? Dude, we it's really are something. We're the Goons complex podcast. Carbs? That's what the Goons is. Hell yeah. We, we literally have a podcast with poop and cheese. We can, we can is, talk about this shit. This is poop and meat. We could talk about shit, but also give like no, we nutrition are... <laughs> advice at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> yeah, that's the best we are a dynamic bunch. We would be really good parents. No, we wouldn't. Yeah, we no, would be good parents. None wouldn't of us would be son, good parents. Don't you know, eat hey, dog shit you know for 14 years and then switch over to complex carbs. You know what's actually <laughs> the most bizarre thing? This is actually a conversation I had with someone very recently about, like, out of the goons, who would be the best parent. And I actually somehow landed on soup. Hey! Like, I feel yes, like sir. McNasty would just hand it a guitar and a meatball and just tell it to go <laughs> away for an hour. The reason <laughs> I would be the worst parent is because I just absolutely fucking hate kids. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, same. I, I'm never having a kid ever. Yeah. yeah. I would yeah. use my kid for views. What? <laughs> I mean, that's not terrible. Are you going to be like yeah, I mean, Kyle's toy review or something? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm going to throw Daddy my kid in the room. <laughs> I'm going to throw my kid in the room, <laughs> give him a camera and toys, and just say, upload this now. <laughs> he has to do all the work. New, new channel. <laughs> 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 yeah, make sure you edit it. Make sure you edit well and subtitle it, you fucking idiot. I'll give you some dinner tonight <laughs> if you work on this video. Yeah, I'll let you eat all the drywall you want. <laughs> you gotta be as dumb as daddy. Eat your drywall. I, I am more of a, like, dog. I would much rather have a dog than a... You're more <laughs> like a dog. Your kid dog. I am more like dog. a dog. You'd much rather have something you can just throw food and water into a fucking bowl and yeah. leave it alone. And, and yeah. let it sit yeah, in your exactly. bed and fart on it for, like, 25 Snapchats <laughs> in a row. This dude, this dude at dude, 4 a.m. bizarre night. This dude at 4 a.m. McNasty wouldn't need an abortion. He could just fucking I got fart food poisoning that night. Fuck you. No, no, no. We're talking about this. <laughs> this dude sent us 25 snaps of him f ripping, not just like little boop, like like on his dog. It was like... <laughs> yeah, like literally <laughs> back to back sounded to back like a lifted back. truck next to dude's house okay, well, just yeah. driving if by. If I ever had to prove myself that it wasn't on the dog, I have a couple videos saved. 
She Why is did like, you say that? She yeah, it was like that. It was like that. It was that straight on his dog. I was I'm gassing his dog. So what's happening is I'm laying on my side <laughs> under the blanket. My dog is laying in front of me outside of the blanket. My ass is the opposite direction under the blanket. It does, we don't, ripping we don't ass. know it that. It, we it, don't know that. So it's that, under the blanket. You can't that's true. Even if that's you true. You were lifting your leg, though. Gas can go through a blanket. <laughs> yeah, a gas yeah, can go through. She was laying in front of me. You were putting your fucking dog in a Dutch She was oven. laying in front of me outside of the blanket. <laughs> she was under the blanket. You can clearly see her in the video. That's why you know there was a dog there. All right, tweet it out then. Tweet out the video. Tweet out the no. video. See what PETA does. Yeah. See what PETA does. <laughs> Everyone tag PETA. <laughs> I can't tweet. PETA blocked me because I replied to one of their tweets with a picture of a hot dog. So everyone else but me. I thought you were going to say <laughs> they blocked you because of the cheese dog. No, I. they tweeted something really fucking stupid. Or they're just like, thinking of barbecuing this week? Why not barbecue one of these? And it was just like the nastiest looking mushroom burger uh, I've ever seen. Which, <laughs> mushroom burgers fucking slap. But uh. they somehow found this nasty ass piece of shit. So I just replied with hot dog photo. Would you guys ever go vegetarian? Me. No. Or vegan? Or I've no. thought about I, uh, it. I tried vegetarian for a little bit. Um, but it's just not for me. Like I, I don't it is know. really, really I, good for you to be like. It there is certain aspects that are great for you, and like people always say, like ooh protein, but like you can get proteins from fucking almonds. Like you don't need yeah. to eat red meat. But just like I don't know, just overall, I just personally enjoyed eating red meat more. So I've just, just I've like, thought about like worth. kind of just getting rid of red meat altogether. Well, I barely eat any red meat. I just eat chicken, as you know. Yeah. I'm always yeah. eating chicken. So. Red meat's the worst for you. Like that's the right. that's the one meat that like can cause like colon cancer. Colon cancer, time. yeah. Yes, sir. Higher cholesterol, Two steaks heart a day. disease. Yeah. Cholesterol, a lot of fat and red meat. Yeah. All the yeah. best things. Yeah, I've just honestly thought about just like literally almost trying to be a vegetarian, but eating like chicken and fish. I'm and here for like, a good time, not a long time. Yup, dude, retweet. Let's go get a big old yeah, ribeye. <laughs> let's go get a steak right now. Could yeah. you imagine oh, dude, getting colon cancer, though? Ribeye. And you would have to walk around with a fucking bag attached to your stomach that you just shit into? Oh, yeah, we'd have to go to work every day with your that? Your butthole just doesn't work yeah. anymore? I'd rather die than get well, colon cancer. Well, I mean, you're an asshole, dude. I yeah, would rather right die than get colon cancer if I had your ass. Yeah. The way you fart, dude? <laughs> yeah. God damn. You literally you guys blew watched, a kidney out your I, ass. I did that on Snapchat. I had food poisoning that night. It doesn't that's matter. Watched, Why'd you take your length. food poisoning out we on your dog? We watched a full-length, nasty-produced documentary. That's what I was trying to impress yeah. you guys. It was like an hour and a half of <laughs> I was trying to impress you guys. ass ripping. That's what I had to wake up to because I was asleep when he sent it. I yes, woke so up and I was just greeted with shit. That was the last thing I, I saw before I, like, I went to bed. I have 20 Snapchats from McNasty? Yeah, I wanted to show you guys something that was cool. That wasn't cool. That's animal abuse. I just sat there. I just sat there wondering what the fuck I'm doing with my life. Hashtag Why McNasty farts brain? on his dog. Hashtag get it McNasty trending, get it farts trending, on his dog. Get it trending, get it trending, get it trending. All right, I'll just delete this fucking recording, then we'll do another one tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, you must pay for your crimes against Millie. Dog. Hey, Millie. guys, tomorrow is my birthday. Well, tomorrow is I've also my birthday. I've literally yeah. seen Millie take a shit on the floor, turn around, and eat it. Fresh. Yeah, so, my dog used to do that all the time. She's nothing to her. She takes after her pop. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. She's probably conditioned to do that. <laughs> By you, fart no, face. I held her own shit. Dogs are disgusting treat. creatures. I'll tell you that right They now. really are. So are McNasties. Yeah. Yeah. So are yes. Canadians. No. <laughs> anyway, Soup, what are you doing for your birthday tomorrow? Fucking nothing. Nice, I got it. Everyone wish <laughs> Soup a happy birthday in the comments and tell him. And oh, yeah, no, f yeah, no, fuck him, Matt. Just, no just, one soup. just Soup. <laughs> yeah, no, just Soup. It's not like we have the same birthday. No, just Soup. Give one reason why you think Soup is cute in the comment section. Yeah. Okay. And then give one reason why you hate Blark in the comment section. <laughs> oh, boy, there's going to be a lot of comments for that. <laughs> oh, like what? I have hair. to stop at one? I have so many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Only one? There's already those uh, comments on regular be videos. nice. Say one nice thing about me. Happy birthday. Yeah, I wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday to Blark. Yeah, we're still like... Mc McNasty like, and I will now sing you okay, happy fine. birthday. I would love for you guys to sing us both happy okay. birthday right now. Uh, what? One, two... No, play it, play one, it. Two, play it on piano. Three. Let's harmonize. You go high octave, I'll go low. Okay, okay. Um, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy so high. Now I actually made myself and, gag. And let 
the Special Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> special Olympics starts with a happy birthday song. <laughs> it's like the Applebee's super birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Da, 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 da. Happy, happy birthday. Da, 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 da. Well, well, it's because regular happy birthdays is birthdays. Birthday is copyrighted. Yeah, That's why by they never Michael sing Jackson. Yeah, is it? it's caught, dude. Michael Jackson, I'm pretty sure owns the well, original. He's dead. Happy what we just uh-huh. saying is owned by Michael Jackson. Yeah, let me. I actually, no I'm way. Curious. Does Michael Jackson own Happy? Birthday? I know somebody owns Happy Birthday. Wait, no. Apparently they. I thought they that don't was free. Them. Like, uh, what's it called? Uh, Domain? No. Yeah. No, it's absolutely not. Oh. Damn, that's fucked. <clears throat> Oh, well... Yeah, but who cares? We'll put this, it in. <laughs> this podcast ain't gonna get hit, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Sony I, knows I'm on here, so they even, might I watch. E- I don't even know if you... I don't even know if you were, like, a registrable, like, key. Yeah. Like, you were just... I don't at know, the end there, you just sounded like a bird like a trying to get a mixture of ours piped. together, too, and, like, the change of... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where this, you were going. Yeah. You were going way too high at some points. McNasty, uh... <laughs> McNasty vaguely hummed the Halo theme once, and I got hit for yeah. it, so yeah. who freaking knows at this point? <laughs> I love this platform. What a fantastic place oh my to make a God. career. Oh my God! Apparently, Warner Chapel. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> they. Oh, sorry, I just got flashbacks. <laughs> the company has agreed to pay back fourteen million dollars to those who have paid licensing fees to use the, the song. Oh my God! Jesus! Oh, for the Happy Birthday song. So we can say. So wait, Does that, that mean they're going to pay us? A judge just recently deemed it as public domain actually okay cool that wasn't Yay. that long ago all right but, pog oh no it's in 2016 they finally deemed it as a public song like public Yay. domain. Yay, we can sing happy birthday all right get now. shot on warner all right, all right again from the top i heard michael jackson owned it maybe that's not true that could be false but yeah i feel like a lot of things i think he just sang it to a lot here. of little kids that he had in his you know his dungeon i think that's what you're getting confused <laughs> Oh, anywho, <laughs> uh, I mean, we, we get, uh, we get topic sued for slander. The, the podcast um, on, uh, Michael Jackson he's dead. Touched I kids can't slander. Yeah, yeah, uh, little, little, little bit of little bit of defamation. 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 What's the definition of defamation? <laughs> defamation. And the one who defamates. All right, Michael Jackson was a predator. And <laughs> justice for yeah. happy birthday. Ending topic on Ju- the podcast. Justice on a for Google happy right. birthday. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, leave us some topics in the comments so we can have more shit to talk about. And check us out on Twitter at GoonsPC. Uh, what's the Instagram handle? Is it the same thing? Goons Who really PC? cares? <laughs> You'll find know. us. Go, just, just look go at us. Just go follow our shit or something. Who yeah. fucking cares? <laughs> look, if you've Jackson listened this kids. far in the podcast, go comment Onion. Michael Jackson definitely kept kids in the floorboards of his house. Yeah, download this on Spotify too. 